So Redis. Redis is an in-memory data store. It's something which I've been used pretty much since it first came out. Really flexible, good for all kinds of things. You can use it as a just a plain key value store. You can use it for queuing, message broker kind of stuff. We're going to use it for caching. And the way we're going to use it is when we go to put new things to translate into the database, we're also going to add them to the cache so that next time that we go looking up the same translation, we can grab it from memory, from the cache, instead of hitting the database. So it should make our application a little bit faster. The way we're going to add it is by adding it to our Docker Compose, like all the other services. And again, following the same rule, we're not going to call this Redis. We're not naming this after the technology. We're naming it after the function which it perform performs. And so we're going to say cache. Good news about Redis is for what we need, the setup, the configuration here is really straightforward. We're going to say image. The image is, of course, Redis. And we'll just go with latest. And I think latest will be fine because the functionality that we're going to use it for here, that will never change. And so I can't see this breaking at any point in the future. So I'm pretty sure that latest will be fine. The next thing I'm going to do is run Docker Compose. And so as you will probably have seen there, it went and actually grabbed Redis from the registry because we didn't have an image for that yet. What I want to show you now is the port for Redis because we're going to use this as an environment variable. So if we do docker ps, ps stands for processes by the way, so you're looking at which docker processes are running. If we hit that, I'll just make this a little bit smaller. Okay, so you should be able to see Redis here. Hopefully you can pick that out, Redis latest. And then when we see ports, 6379. So that is the port which Redis will use by default. And so instead of setting our own port, we're just going to use the default port there. So we'll go and add that as an environment variable because we're going to need this in our application. So we'll move up to here. Redis host will be cache. So Redis host. And then we're just, again, using the name of the service as the actual host address. And then Redis port. And for this, we'll use an environment variable like the others. So let's go and find our .env file. And then once we've added this, of course, we'll need to go and run Docker Compose up again because we've made changes to our Docker Compose file. So let's go and run that command now. And then the next thing I'm going to do is I'm going to go and make some changes to my source code because we want to add some caching in here. Behind the scenes, I've made those changes. So inside of the source folder, now I've created a special translation cache. And so what this will do is it will look in the cache first in order to see if the thing that we're trying to translate is in the cache. If it is, it'll return it from the cache. If not, it will then carry on and query the database. And so the first time that we run this, the first time that we look up a certain phrase, I'm just going to echo out this adding phrase to cache and this is really just to prove to ourselves that our cache is being used and is being hit in the right circumstances. So really just a little development uh, debugging thing there really. Uh, the other change that I've made is obviously in order to use the cache, in order to use Redis as a cache we need to add some configuration. So I've made some changes to the PHP code which is, sits at the top of the index.php. The branch for this one by the way is called add Redis and so if you want to have the same code as what you're seeing here then that is a branch that you need to go and get. Okay and so as you can see we create the client so this is the Redis client, and then we pass that into a special uh, adapter. So these are like Symfony classes, Symfony components, part of the cache component suite. And we have a Redis adapter. We pass our Redis client into that as the lone constructor argument. And then we have this cache adapter, and then we can use that in order to retrieve items from the cache, store items in the cache. It's all going to be pretty cool. The most important parts that you see here are the environment variables. So these are what we've just set up in our Docker Compose file. We set up a Redis host and a Redis port.
Okay, and so this is our application code. It was the app service which is responsible for this, which is where this is housed. And so we're able to access those environment variables within here. The final thing we need to do is make sure that this is working the way that we expect it. So let's go and translate a phrase. So the first time that I run this, I know that this is not in the cache. So I'm expecting to see that echoed message at the top here. Let's run this. Okay, so it's now adding hello to cache because it's the first time I've run it. That is now inside the cache. And so the next time that we run this, it won't actually hit that part of the code. It will just go and get the item from the cache. I hope. So let's run this again. Hello. Okay, perfect. We don't see the message. That means that it's been and got the item from the cache, which means that all the code which we have just written works.